Today's doctors, drugs, and medical devices truly work medical miracles, but there are some as phony as a $3 bill. Help stamp out quackery. Welcome to the United States of Addiction. Okay, today I'm gonna take five pills. Cytomel every day. Oxycodone, Oxycontin. Then I need the Xanax. I had it all written out. Five Vicodin, three Somas, two Viagra, two Cialis, all my vitamins and minerals. It was like a smorgasbord. We only represent 5% of the world's population, yet we consume 75% of the world's prescription drugs. How did we get this way? When you think of drug addicts, you don't think of a housewife with four kids. No, but we're everywhere. Anybody can get addicted to these. When I was 16 years old, no one ever said, well, you shouldn't do the prescription drugs that the doctor said you can take. Talk to your doctor. Ask your doctor. I've got the answer right here, ladies and gentlemen, to everything that ails you. These doctors are profiting by keeping you sick. In the past 10 years, the 11 largest drug companies made $711 billion. The pharmaceutical industry isn't in the business of health and healing. It's in the business of disease management and symptoms maintenance. Whatever your symptom is, we've got a pill for it. They say if you have a problem in America, you can visit your local congressman. You can just go on Craigslist and you can type in like Oxycontin and get it. Because I did not know that until you told me. Look at Suboxone. Minimum 10 must have address discrete delivery. That's just illegal. That's amazing. In 2013, Pharma spent upwards of $422,000 per congressman, making sure the U.S. government knew exactly what Pharma wanted. That's a lot of influence. The pharmaceutical companies are all drug dealers. Every 19 minutes, someone dies of an accidental overdose. It's the worst epidemic we face in America today. Ask yourself, is it really a war on drugs? Or are we just a nation of prescription thugs? Well, you did it again. Gee, what a mess.